Why hello there, my name is Blue Digit, and today we're going to be uh, going over some more SCPs. Um, so, statistically, the series hasn't been doing good. But I don't give a fuck, this is fun, I enjoy this, I enjoy reading and shit, and uh, you know, it's actually kind of opening up my mind when it comes to like, uh, you know, ideas, um, when it comes to uh, um, game development. Um, I really like what is on this site, especially when I get to actually, you know, kind of share some of the stories with you. Um, it, I, I feel like it kind of opens things up, and I, I enjoy that. So, um, here are three more scary, spooky, spooky wookie SCPs. Um, so, as one of you pointed out during a stream, I believe, apparently there literally is a button here that says random SCP generator right here. Um, I, I, cause I literally looked up random SCP generator, and I used to use that. But now I can just use this little link right here. So, whoever said that, thank you, and, uh, let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> This is fucking great. This is fucking great. Um, I can already kind of tell what the fuck is going on here. Um, if you guys already don't know, there is a, uh, uh I've never seen this one before, but there's another SCP that's like a infinite Ikea and it's like fucking creepy and shit at night. I'm getting the same vibes because like I'm already seeing like a fucking target building and shit and it's like, oh my fucking god. So, um, let's get into it. <clears throat> SCP-345. Four. Item SCP-3454 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Any individual leaving the land of the tall bees is to be interrogated until it can be determined whether or not they are an SCP-3454 instance. Containment of SCP-3454 individuals is to be enacted immediately. The lead researcher of Site Bees is to be tasked with determining what is to be done with individuals who are in our uh, SCP. Four, uh, three, four, five, four, and um, ascertaining, ascertaining the best way to introduce the entire population of Earth to the land of tall bees. One person at a time, the Foundation personnel given priority. Research is ongoing. Uh, ongoing. What the fuck? How long is this? Okay, this is short. Okay, in uh, interesting. Description. SCP-3454 is the designa uh, designation for individuals who don't agree that the bees are tall. The land of tall bees is accessible via a temp... What? Temper strap... Something something tier? I don't know the fuck that is. What? Okay. Um, located inside an abandoned Target Canada store in Niagara Falls, um, Ontario. Ontario. Um, the bees are very tall. Um, the portal to the land of the tall bees which is, uh, was discovered in 2016 by an individual who understood the bees and their tallness. The portal was brought to the foundation's attention after numerous SCP-3454 instances contacted the police, outing themselves as anomalies. Um, after securing the location, um, foundation personnel were introduced to the land of the tall bees. The location began operation as Site Bees. Um, it is currently unknown why some individuals are SCP-3454. Unfortunately, the only way to determine whether or not an individual is 3454 is, uh, or not is to send them through the portal. Um, this often upsets the bees. You do not want tall, upset bees. Um, indica indications of being SCP-3454 include lack of desire to, to discuss bees, um, disinterest in bees, not stating the bees are tall without being prompted. Um, interfering in foundation operations at site B's. That's fucking confusing. Okay, I I'm, I'm not understanding this, but I guess let's just read the test logs. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Um, no, test number one. Um, personnel involved. D0901, age 35, convicted of multiple auto uh, automobile thefts. Methodology. Initial record of human interaction with SCP blank, the land of the tall bees. Test results. Subject directed to extend right arm through the portal to land of the tall bees. Subject does not so, um, does so without adverse effect. Dr. Page, former lead researcher, commences with second test. Subject is tethered and given a camera before being sent bodily through the portal of the tall bees. Exploration lasts three minutes. The subject returns unharmed. Uh, note, subject was noted to exclaim, Dude, it's full of tall bees upon exiting. What? 
Okay. Um, test number five. Um, D zero blank D. Uh, so there's two D agents: an Asian cook, Agent Block, Doctor Wizzick, <laughs> Doctor Adams, and Junior Researcher Mazin. Uh, methodology: find out just how tall the bees are. Um, test results: subjects enter the portal of the land of tall bees with um, measuring tapes. Tapes are not long enough to measure the bees. Height of av um, average bee height confirmed to be uh, greater than 3.6 meters. Um, this test was not authorized. I suspect that SCP-3454 is having an adverse effect on my team. I'm calling a moratorium on testing until we get a, an uh, info hazard response team down here. Okay. Okay. Um, test number 11. Um, D personnel two agent, uh, two agents, uh, I believe. Wow, there's a lot of doctors. Anyways, I'm not reading all that shit. There's a lot. Um, methodology: convince three four uh, five four dash one four five that the bees are tall again. Um, test results: SCP three four five four one five. What the fuck? Became unresponsive after 20 minutes of questioning. Same result with um. SCP-3454-144. Um, what? Why are SCP-3454 so difficult? I'm not understanding this at all. I don't get this. I really don't get this. Um... This is one of those things where I feel like it's too... It's too obscure. It's too fucking obscure and I feel like that kind of ruins it. Um, apparently there's a target and there's this line of tall bees through a portal that you go through. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's too confusing to me. I, I don't like it. Um, and even then, it's not even... I wouldn't say it's creative, there's already been something kind of similar to this, um, with, even with the portal and, you know, the fucking, you know, target, it's just, it's, it's kind of bland, it's kind of boring, and frankly, it doesn't make sense, um, they're trying to be quirky when, honestly, it's not, so, not really a fan favorite to me, uh, to me, so, um, I don't know, maybe like a 2 out of 10, I don't know, I don't fucking like it, I, I think it's, I think it's kind of stupid, so, I don't know, um, <laughs> sorry guys, let's move on to the next one. I tried looking at like SCP explained because like maybe I didn't understand it, but yeah, it's just it's just literally people not understanding what the fuck the bees are and it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. I, I didn't like the last one, so um yeah, I still stick to what I said. Two out of ten, maybe, maybe even a one out of ten. I don't know. I, maybe a one out of ten. I'll give it one point five out of ten. It just, it, I just I really thought that was shit. So let's move on to this next one. Um, this is SCP three six four six. Um, object class heater. How long? Holy shit, this is a bit longer. Holy fuck. Alright. Let's read it. Um, uh, um, special containment procedures. All contained instances of SCP-3646 are to be kept in a sealed chamber accessible only by sterilized airlock and provided with a total of 7 milliliters of sugar daily, uh, water daily. A maximum of 1,000 live instances are to be kept at any time. Personnel entering the chamber are to wear type 2 full body hazmat suit. No personnel are to make direct skin contact with deceased instances of SCP-3646. Deceased instances are excess instances are to be disposed of by the incinerator. Foundation uh, Bioweapon S-31106 uh, has been created and engineered to specifically target instances of SCP-3646 and rapidly accelerate de uh, decomposition and uh, of deceased SCP-3646 corpses. Um, S-031106 is to be deployed worldwide with focus on areas uh, with high insect population. Okay, so this is some kind of insect. Um, foundation and web crawlers are to identify possible reports of SCP-3646 activity near populated areas, and MTF-NU-15 fly, uh, fly swatter is to be deployed to confirm sites. Wild instances of SCP-3646 are to be lured using synthesized from... Uh, pheromones, um, then killed using the same, you know, weapon or toxic gases. Um, deceased instances, uh, instances are to be incinerated, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, description. SCP-646, um, 3646 um, uh, is an unclassified species of insect in the Clusidae, what the fuck? 
family is that? Oh, mosquito. Okay, so it's a type of mosquito. Um, similarly to many other members of the family. Um, individual instances of SCP-3646 possess six legs, two pairs of wings. Okay, yeah, and it's sharp, um, propagus, uh, feeding off blood of other, uh, victims. Um, this SCP is, uh, visibly discernible from other species of mosquitoes by pale white coloration and long feathery appendage, uh, extruding from the abdomen. It is unknown what purpose this appendage serves. Um, instances of SCP does not show signs of aging and is currently unknown lifespan. Instances of SCP have been confirmed to be sexless after a death caused by SCP. Uh, large amounts of new instances regularly materialize on or near the corpse, confirming that alternate anomalous uh, method of reprodu uh, re reproduction. The anomalous um, abilities of an instance of SCP activate upon death. Immediately after brain function ceases, the, the next organism to come into direct physical contact with any portion of the corpse will begin to display a progression of anomalous uh, symptoms. After an outbreak of SCP-3646 was neutralized in... What the fuck? Gitsadi? Gitsadi? Rune... Burundi? I can't fucking read, bro. I can't fucking read. Um, several effects, uh, affected persons were taken to the Foundation custody uh, for review and observation. A cover story regarding a new strain of Zika virus was spread, and it was explained that the victims of SCP-3646 were being taken to court team. Several relevant excerpts from interviews um, with a Mr. Antonal blah, 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 blah. Um, stage 1. The manifest 1 to 2 hours after initial contact, the victim will experience a mild uh, auditory hallucinations, reporting to hear the sound of mosquito flying past the ears. These hallucinations occur an average of twice hourly. The hallucinations may cause the subject to reflexively swat the air near their ears. Uh, mild agitation as a result of the hallucinations is present in 32% of recorded cases. Um, expert, uh, excerpt 1, 3 days after initial affliction. Stage 1. How are you feeling today, Mr. You? Let's just say that. Um, I'm fine. The insect keeps bothering me, though. Uh, I'm sure I swatted it. I see. Have you seen the insect since you first swatted it? No. It must be moving very fast, but I'll be faster. Mosquitoes spread so much sickness here. We must kill them quickly. Yes? Stage 2. Manifest 5 to 8 days after onset of Stage 1. Auditory hallucinations double frequency. The sum um, subjects reporting um, multiple instances of the sound simultane uh, simultaneously. Victims also report the hallucinations becoming louder and persisting for longer. Subjects also begin to suffer from a seemingly permanent case of... What the fuck happened? Sorry, something happened on my side of the screen that scared me. Um, louder, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, I'm not going to read that. I just... Man. Man if, uh, stage 3. Um, hallucinations become bigger. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. That, uh, man. The more I'm looking at this, it's just... It just seems stupid. Basically, this, this mosquito, if it gets you, you'll just start going crazy because the fucking mosquito bites you. I don't like it. I think I think it's a... I, I don't know. This one is literally a fucking one. It's a fucking one. It's just... It's just fucking... Mosquitoes that kill you. This fucking sucks. <laughs> Fuck this one. Fuck this SCP, bro. Oh my god, this is fucking boring. I'm, I'm sorry. It's a fucking 0 to 10. Fucking, I don't know, 0 to 10. This fucking sucked. Fuck this shit. I don't know, it's fucking stupid. Um, yeah, sorry. Let's move on to the next one. Hopefully it's fucking good. Alright, so here's the last one. Um, I was messing with the SCP thing, because I was like, why these stories fucking suck? And I could only click it like... It only gave me three. It literally only gave me three. So, maybe there's only, like, a few random SCPs per day. Maybe my fucking page is fucked up. But, like, I don't know, man. Like, I, this page isn't... I don't know. I, I think I'm going to go back to using my other random SCP generator. Um, so, thank you for the person who pointed that out to me, this one. But, like, yeah, I don't know. It's, I keep getting shit ones. I keep getting shit ones. The other, the other one actually, like, kind of... 
I don't know, it felt actually randomized to me. Like, it actually gave me a bunch of fucking numbers. This one, like, it's kind of... It feels like it's favoring the, 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 the newer ones, which I don't like. I don't like that. Um, I wanted to actually be fucking random, so. Um, yeah, anyway, so here's the last one. Um, we're gonna read this, and uh, then I'll give you my thoughts, I guess. Hopefully this is good. I fucking hope. Um, SCP-2301. Um, object Class Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Provisional Containment Zone Delta-3 has been constructed surrounding SCP-2301's manifestation area. At any given time, no fewer than two containment teams, designated Alpha and Beta, must be present with a third relief team on active standby. Um, Alpha team is to be equipped with uh, periodic, accurate, 15th century Japanese laminar, laminar, what the fuck, armor, and a full set of period accurate um, weapons commonly used by samurai class of the feudal Japan. Um, in addition, each containment team member is to be uh, receive extensive training in traditional kabuki acting along with classes in basic Japanese uh, mythology and Shintoism. Um, beta team is to be equipped with a uh, period accurate 15th century gothic plate armor and a full set of uh, period accurate weapons commonly used by the knights of the field Germ uh, Germany. In addition, each content, uh, containment team member is to receive extensive training in European theater arts along with classes in medieval Texas concerning dragons. During a um, manifestation event, all personnel must remain in character at all times. Once SCP-2301 is uh, uh, terminated, all terminal must remain in character until all components of SCP-2301 have decayed. Should SCP-2301 manifest in a different form, the standby team will be mobilized to determine the method in which SCP-2301 should be confronted. D-Class personnel will be used to dis uh, distract SCP-2301 from approaching a popular center until um, a population center until a solution can be found. <gasps> There's a lot of reading. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's read it. Um, SCP-2301 is a hostile, metamorphic entity that en uh, manifests in blank blank every month and takes the form of various antagonists from different fables, plays, or legends, notably that of Japanese and European origin. Um, SCP-2301 cannot be damaged unless it perceives its attackers to be correctly um, be those that would defeat such a character in the play, uh, legend or play in which it would be found. Therefore, SCP-2301 manifests as a European-style dragon. It can only be harmed by those that it perceives to be medieval knights. Um, this also applies to containing SCP-2301 in that modern containment procedures, such as um, reinforced Keter class hostile anomaly chambers, can be easily destroyed by uh, bypass by SCP. Um, the SCP can also be given enough time to um, destroy periodic period accurate containment such as chains or cages interesting okay um scp will also uh, remain in character as the particular antagonist that it has manifested for for the duration of the event it is critical that personnel remain in character and exchange dialogue with scp 2301 while in combat with the entity due to the fact that scp 2301 will not accept individuals that it perceives as not playing the role to its satisfaction once scp 2301 determines an individual to be sufficiently in character that said individual will be unable to harm scp 2301 for the, the for the duration of the manifestation event okay on the a manifestation um a manifestation event ends when scp 2301 has sufficiently damaged has been sufficiently damaged to the point at which it can no longer function, causing SCP-2301's body to rapidly, uh, rapidly decompose. One should be uh, one of the, should one of the, of the individuals that participated in terminating two, uh, SCP-2301 uh, fail and uh, to remain in character until the body has decomposed. Um, oh, SCP-2301 will re-manifest. Active containment personnel have reported that SCP-2301 is incredibly durable and lethal. Um, the SCP possesses all of the capable, uh, capabilities of the character that it chooses to represent in a particular manifestation event, and similarly possesses the same weaknesses. SCP-2301 originally manifested only as a character from Japanese folk, uh, folklore. However, beginning on the date blank blank, 
SCP-2301 began to manifest as characters from medieval European mythology. Currently, SCP's limits in replicating characters from other uh, cultures is unknown. Um, SCP-2301 most commonly manifests as an Japanese Oni, a type of demon that wields a kanabo, uh, kanabo, um, which is a long type of Japanese club, it says down there in the footnotes, um, in combat. Said creature is noted as incredibly strong in various myths and legends, and is also described as a humanoid entity possessing horns, claws, and blue or red skin coloration. SCP-2301 is roughly 2 meters in height in this form, and it has been demonstrated as strong enough to fully co uh, collapse a human chest per, uh, protected by laminar armor with its cannibal. Um, SCP-2 most commonly manifested as a European dragon. In this form, SCP-2301 uh, possesses two winged four limbs with a uh, wingspan of uh, 25 meters and two clawed uh, hind limbs. Um, SCP is roughly 7 meters tall in this form and capable of producing fire in excess of 1000 degrees Celsius from within its throat, though, uh, and as of yet unknown mechanism. Uh, me mechanism. Sorry. Um, SCP-2301's purpose during a manifestation event is currently understood to be um, complete immunity towards all human life. Um, SCP-2301 uh, has been demonstrated to immediately um, attempt to navigate towards the largest population center available and will attempt to kill any human that it encounters. Despite this, SCP-2301 possessed a superb grasp of human culture, specifically Germanic and Japanese history, languages, literature, and mythology. SCP-2301's origin or method of acquiring this information is currently unknown. That's really fucking cool. I like this one a lot. This one actually is not shit. This one's not shit. This is actually a really fucking good one. I, I enjoy it. Ba basically, like... It doesn't say what it comes from, but it says that it does manifest um, in a certain area. And the manifestation is some type of, you know, myth uh, mythological, um, yeah, mythological creature. And um, basically, the only way you can defeat it is if. You kind of give it a show, but if you don't, then it will literally act upon its own and create, in a sense, its own kind of show and kind of replicate history as it would be in the mythology, and thus attacking anyone that would also be, you know, um, in line with that mythology. So, like, obviously a dragon, it will fucking kill anyone. Um, but, if it's, like, within, uh, mythology that, you know, a knight's supposed to kill the dragon, then obviously, it'll kind of roleplay with you. And it's almost as if you're playing chess in a non-chess world with this entity, and it's really fucking cool. I, I like this. I, I like this. It's very, um, I, I would say it's, it's basically, it's very original. Um, now there are a few things I have a little bit wrong with it. Um, it, it's kind of unclear as to if this thing even is able to be contained it, it basically is just it manifests so like you know I, it, it's also unclear to me how they know this is the same scp maybe just be by behaviors so um really i'll probably give this like a five out of ten a six out of ten but it's very original i'll give it that um i like it i think it's really freaking cool um especially that you know the, the attic literally defend against this fake entity through role playing like i've never heard of that that's that's really cool and I, I like i like how it doesn't say that it will attack the person like I, I i like how it doesn't exactly say that it will go for the person that isn't acting good enough it's more just saying that if you fail I will completely fuck up everything else that you know and love. Like, holy fuck. That's fucking crazy and badass to me. And, um, I, I really think this is cool. I, I really enjoy this. Um, this would be really cool in the game, too. So, anyways, I enjoyed this one. Um, 
<laughs> this is probably going on in the thumbnail. I, uh... I didn't like the other two, though. The other two were literally, like, they are shit. They were fucking shit. Fuck the other two. Like, one of them was a fucking evil mosquito that literally was, like... It, it just, it was like a, it fucking killed you. That's all it is. It's just a mosquito that fucking bit you and killed you. And it's like, okay. It's like, okay, I could do the same thing with, like, I don't know. Let's, let's say, like, a fucking, a wasp. A fucking wasp stings you. And, oh, my God, I'm saying shit. Fuck. And then if I, and you're fucking dead, and it's like, dude, that's stupid. That's fucking stupid. Or like a fucking bear, you know what I mean? You fucking get bit by like a bear, and it's like, oh shit, I'm turning into a bear. Or it's like, dude, that's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. Um, I like things that actually are original. And, or if they're not, play it so well that it doesn't matter. So, that's my thought. Um, I, although, I, gu I guess you gotta kinda take the good with the bad. I mean, that's why, like, the last fucking episode was fucking great. So, I guess it was kind of just, you know, it was bound to happen, but, um, at least this last one kinda made up for it a little bit. So, um, <laughs> uh, I do not like the big numbers. Big numbers, not good. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed these ones. Um, I, I, I know I did. I thought they were really fun. Um, even if they weren't the best ones, at least I can enjoy them for what they were. So, um, all I can say, guys, is, uh, thank you for joining me for this one. Um, if you can, please, please go watch the other ones in the playlist. Um, since, you know, there are two other ones, uh, I'd recommend the second one, because that's the best one, in my opinion. Um, and all I can say from this point onward is, uh, smile, keep your head up. If not, if you haven't already, please maybe sub or leave a comment if you'd like to see more or whatever, like, series you'd like to see. And, um, yeah, let's fight for a future sub, right? So much for eyes. My name is Blue Dish signing out, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.